Hey everybody, welcome to our show today. We're going to be talking about bulletproof. How do you get bulletproof? 31 steps to make it happen is probably not what you think. So I hope, so glad to have you on our show today. My name is Dean Renfro. We're doing a lunch and learn today on some things that can make your life better, right? To make your life better. And I'm glad you're with us here on the show today. So if it's your first time to be on my show today, be sure to click on notifications up there and make sure that you turn notifications on so that you know every time I go live here on the Dean Renfro live page. If you're catching me on one of my other pages, like my profile page or some of my other group pages, you can also click and come to Dean Renfro Live so you can be here and comment. Because if you're not on that page, I can't see your comments, which you can do that right down below. You can type in your comment. You can let me know you're here. I know you're there. I can see a question or a comment that you make. You can also, of course, give me a thumbs up or you can give me a heart or you can give me a smiley face or you can give me a frowny face, whatever you feel like you need to do. We're just glad you're with us here on the show. And, of course, the biggest thing you can do besides make a comment, is to click that little button down there that says share. And you can share that with all your friends and invite them to come be a part of our show. If you're catching me on the replay, just a little house clean, if you're catching me on the replay, you can also type in the comment section underneath, and I will uh, be able to respond to that uh, later on. Uh, and I, you can also give us a thumbs up, a smiley face, a heart, and you can also click the share button even on the replay, right? Even on the replay. So hey, I'm glad you're, uh, I'm glad you're with us today. Appreciate you being a part of uh, this today. And I just want to kind of reach out to you and say, hey, thanks for being here. Thanks for being here, right? Uh, and being on the show today and, and and having a part of what we're doing. So uh, like I say, glad, glad you're here, and uh, we're going to be talking about this concept called Bulletproof, right, called Bulletproof, and uh, I want to kind of share a little bit with that with that today with you and uh, talk about it. So you might be thinking, okay, let me, I want to get the screen up here, right, I want to get the screen up here so you can see it. You might be thinking, what in the world is Bulletproof, right, what is Bulletproof, what are you talking about, are you talking about some kind of you know, Kevlar armor? Are you talking about some kind of tank? Are you some, talking about some kind of house? What are you talking about when you're talking about uh, this whole idea of bulletproof? And and what do you mean 31 steps? So we're going to talk about that. So when we say that, what do we mean by bulletproof, right? What do we mean by bulletproof? Well, when I'm talking about bulletproof, and it will all make sense to you a little later on in the show, is getting yourself in the state of high performance, right? Getting yourself in the state of high performance where your body, your mind, your nervous system, right? All work together effortlessly to help you perform at levels beyond what you'd expect. That is a stronger you. That's a stronger you. And uh, I know everybody, I want, you know, wants to be stronger mentally and emotionally and physically and spiritually, uh, and, and even in our nervous system, because that's kind of the root of everything that we are. Now, I'm not a doctor or, or a psychologist or a psychiatrist or any of those things. I'm not a nutritionist. So uh, all the things you hear me talk about today, if, if you have health issues, you need to check that out with your doctor first before you do anything that we're going to be talking about today, okay? Because I don't know the condition that you're in. But I do know that these things will help you improve all the functions in your body and in your life. So we're going to be... We're going to be talking about that today. How do you get to a stronger you, right? How do you get to a stronger you? So let's get started with our presentation here a little bit about what we're talking about. First of all, one of the uh, most important things you can do, and because I, I know in January a lot of people struggle, a lot of people struggle with depression. Uh, they, they, the, the holidays, the expectations, the change, the resolutions that they, all those things begin to affect a person, right? They begin to affect a person and uh, depression sets in on people. Depression sets in on people. And, and that, that, that's, that's not a helpful thing many times. It's not, that's not a good thing for people many times. And, and so how do you combat that? Well, one of the simplest things that you can begin to do to bulletproof your life from that factor of expectation, right, and your your uh, your reality, that thing, that gap there, that's called disappointment. That gap is called disappointment. And uh, that, that sometimes is, you know, can be a pretty difficult thing, can be a pretty difficult thing for people, right? And, and you kind of have to understand how that works, how that works in your life. 
and uh, you know depending on who you are and how things are for you and how you're wired sorry I'm trying to make an adjustment on my screen here so that it looks better right so it looks better and, and uh, you just you have to kind of understand that about yourself and but if you focus on something to be grateful for no, no matter how small it might be or how big it might be or how outlandish it might be or how insignificant it might be it does something for you when you begin to think about something that you're grateful for it could be friends family uh, so something as simple as you know ha having a, a writing instrument or being able to think or being able to smile or being able to walk or being able to you know to go somewhere it, it, it could be what we might consider to be insignificant but if every day you will pick something to be grateful for I think you will find that your life will begin to change things will begin to change another big thing that you can do to help bulletproof your life is to drink more water See, we drink a lot of stuff in our world today. We uh, you got people that drink alcohol. They got you got people that drink soda. You got people that drink energy drinks. You got people that drink caffeinated beverages, and, and you drink all this stuff. And uh, but that's not the same as water. Your body craves water. Water is important to cell structure, to memory, to nerves, uh, to body functions, digestive system. Your body needs more water. Most of us don't drink enough water. And of course the the, the more balanced of a water you can come to, uh, that you can drink, uh, the better off you are. you know and of course there, there's a lot of services out there that give you a, a better water kind of concept. So drink more water, okay that will help bulletproof your life. okay That will make your body stronger, your emotions stronger, your nervous system stronger, your mental capabilities stronger. okay drink more water. Let me tell you about this feature, okay? It's it's uh, uh, the the new smoking threat, okay? To health is sitting down all day, right? Sitting down all day. So get up and stand up. Spend some time work. If you sit at a desk all day long, that you, you are uh, you there's some things it's doing to your body. It's decreasing your lung capacity. It's it's uh, decreasing your mobility factor. So get up and stand up. If you can, if you can arrange for it, work standing up in some parts of the day. You know, so uh, get up and stand up. Just standing up, just the motion of standing up helps your body uh, mo emotionally, mentally, physically, a nervous system. It just helps you. So learn how to do that, right? Learn how to do that. Here's another big one. Uh, do you know that, uh, you know, of course, studies have shown in newborn babies that physical touch is important. Uh, just hug somebody today. Okay, you know, just hug somebody. Create that connection to somebody else emotionally and physically. Just, just hug somebody, and you will find that that you you will feel better. That you'll, there'll be some things about you that are better. You know, and uh, the, the 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 whole concept of physical contact is critically important to bulletproofing your life. Now, I know right now you might be thinking, what in the world do these things have to do with your life? Well, I'll tell you something. If, if, if you're struggling emotionally, physically, mentally, emotionally, uh, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose about being grateful for something? What have you got to lose to drink about drinking more water? What do you have to lose about standing up? What do you have to lose about hugging somebody? What's that going to cost you? Okay, Think of about what it might gain you. Just if these things are true, and they are true, they've been scientifically proven to be true, what, what would you gain from that? More energy, more emotion, more spiritual life, more mental power, more, a better nervous system. What, what, what could you gain from that by doing those things? And they cost you nothing to do this. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. It is scientifically proven that if you get up and you walk and you, you take some sense of movement in your body, it increases your blood flow in your body, increases the uh, hormones in your brain and uh, different chemicals in your brain. It helps you emotionally, physically. It gives you a new look. When you get out and take a walk, you see things that you don't see when you're staring at a computer screen like this or you're st you know, if you're in the house all day. Get out and take a walk. It does numerous things for your body. So far, it hadn't cost you one thing except the time and effort and energy to do some of these 31 steps to make it happen, right? 31 steps to make it happen. Upgrade your vocabulary. How about that? 
Upgrade your vocabulary. Find ways to increase the words and the meaning of words that you know. That is a simply a brain exercise. That might be through puzzles. That might be through reading new different kinds of books uh, or listening to different kinds of audio, uh, even watching different kinds of video to increase your vocabulary. Learn new words. Force your mental capacity to, to learn something new. Upgrade your vocabulary. Learn how to do that. Okay. Uh, change your brain with music. Find music that helps you concentrate. Now, some you know, some people like loud music. Some people like soft music. Some people like rock music. Some people like, you know, uh, classical music. But find a music that helps you concentrate. There's even there. Just Google it. You know, br music for the brain. Music to help you concentrate. Music to help you focus. There's we have scientific discoveries have shown that there are certain kinds of music that will help you focus. Uh, I want to say better. That might not even be the best word, but help you focus more intently and with intensity. That becomes important because one of the biggest things that goes on in our world today is we are distracted and we can't stay focused. Okay, and there's because there's a lot of messages coming in our head and a lot of stuff already up there, right? Uh, that we deal with and we and we get distracted by just a little, just a little bit, just a little bit. It's the whole squirrel factor, you know, that squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, and, and we're off track. There are certain kind of brain music that will help you stay focused, okay? It'll help you stay focused, all right? Go on a fast. That is, participate in not eating. In other words, let your body, uh, put your body in a, fa a state of a fast. That will help your body cleanse out, clean out some things and get rid of some things in your body that need to go that are that are wreaking havoc on your mental capabilities and your emotions and your nervous system, your di your digestive system, uh, and it will help you begin to reformulate your your body will begin to reformulate around this this fast concept. So do that. Now again, I remind you, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, psychologist, psychiatrist. If you're going to go on any, if you're going to go on a fast or anything like that, check with your doctor. Make sure it's okay for you to not do without food. Okay. Uh, because I realize there's some medical conditions that you can't you can't just do that. But find out what kind of fast you can go on because you can go on a fast. Okay, you can go on a fast. Get rid get rid of one of your possessions. Find something and get rid of it. And I don't mean something that you don't long, no longer care about. You can do that too. But just the act of giving something away, just the act of releasing something from your life does wonders for your mental, emotional, and uh, physical being, just to just let go of something, to just actually be able to say, here, and let go of it. And of course, if you can give it away with no strings attached, if you can give it away to somebody who needs it, if you can give it away to, to something that, that somebody else can take and use and help their life, then that's even better, and the benefits and payoff will even be larger. Will even be larger, okay? Strike up a conversation with a stranger. Strike up a conversation with a stranger. Now, now, if you're under 18, don't do that, okay? But if you're an adult, if you consider yourself to be an adult, then strike up a conversation with a person that you don't know. You may, maybe you don't know their name. Maybe you've seen their face, but you don't know their name. Maybe you don't know what they do. With a stranger, somebody who is who, who, who you don't have a relationship with, a stranger, and strike up a conversation and sharpen your skills, first of all, of meeting people that you don't know, number two, of being able to talk to somebody else without an agenda, okay, without an agenda, okay, and, and then number three, the ability to make a new relationship, and how do you go about doing that when you talk to a stranger? Where does it go from there? That will help you bulletproof your life. I know all these things seem odd, and I told you when we started the broadcast that you were going to be surprised. It's probably not what you think. We're not talking about body armor. We're not talking about Kevlar. We're not talking about going to a gun class. We're not talking about anything like that. You can do all that stuff and bulletproof your life another way. That's for another day. But what we're talking about today is the, the ability to emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually make yourself... Uh, Bulletproof, right? To make yourself bulletproof, and, and that's that's important, right? That's important. And uh, I want to I want to do something. I want to share this right quick so everybody can see it. People are making comments about it. 
All right, then uh, number t- uh, the next thing is learn how to meditate and keep a journal. Learn how to meditate and keep a journal. In other words, spend some time every day quiet and focused in your thinking. Now, that may be difficult. For, I, I know for certain personalities, like my personality, I'm, I, I, I am an intense, what is called an intense action D in the disc profile. Uh, you know, my brain runs at about 10,000 miles an hour, and I've always got a to-do list, and there's always something to be doing. It's very hard for me to meditate and focus. But I have learned that that's key, okay? And I've learned that that's a, a journal. Matter of fact, I was in another group today, and they were asking what are your goals this week are, and I had stated what they were, and somebody came back and replied to that. And one thing they recommended was you should journal. And I said, well, hey, that's great because I believe in it so much. I went out and re- I went out and created my own journal, right? I created my own journal so I could journal, uh, uh, you know, and, 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 and keep up with it. And it fit who I am. So I, you know, so I've been journaling, you know, I, I've created a journal and, and you can see, you know, I'll just show you, I, I'm writing in it. It's, it's happening along. Now today is uh, January the 10th in, in today's deal. Today's journal entry uh, or quote to help prompt journal entry is keep your fears to yourself, but share your courage with others. Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay. So I'm going to write about that here in just a little bit. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to write out some, some of my thoughts about, about what are my fears, and then what is the courage that I want to share with others. And, of course, one of the things that, that, that I think is important is for you to do stuff like this to get out of your comfort zone. But one way to bulletproof your life is to meditate and journal. Go okay? Meditate and journal, right? Here's another one. How about do a digital detox for 24 hours? That is, no social media, no, no you know, no media of any kind, just totally anything that's digital, just cut that out of your life. Just do without it for 24 hours. Now, I know the first few hours is going to be like really painful. And maybe even about hour six or seven, you're going to be really, really tempted to, 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 to check your phone and to check your computer and to check your email and to see what's happening on Facebook and, and all those things. It, it's going to be tempting, okay? But just do a detox for 24 hours and see what things leave you and, and what kind of a different emotional, physical, mental, even nervous, even your nervous system shape it will be in for you. Just do a detox for 24 hours and then try to make that a habit on a regular basis. Okay. Use the HIT method. That is high intensity interval interval training. In other words, Instead of thinking you got to go work out in a gym for 30 minutes, how about just taking a really, really brisk walk for 60 seconds? How about doing uh, some burpees for 60 seconds? How about doing some jumping jacks for 60 seconds? In other words, for 60 seconds, go all out. Go all out uh, in, in, in an exercise, okay, in an exercise. Go all out, right? Go all out. And, 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 and when you do that, right, studies have shown that that is like some in, a little prolonged activity, cardio, uh, and and uh, weight training kind of exercises. If you just go for 60 seconds full out, right, full out, it will do you good. It will do you good. Okay, exchange morning carbs for healthy fat. Instead of eating bread and cereals and those kinds of things in the morning, eat healthy fats, okay, and, and some of those things are come in the concept of like avocado and banana and, and those kinds of things. Again, I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a health expert. You need to research that. You may check your with your, do, with your doctor and with your dietitian before you take any big changes. But I'm telling you, begin to move toward healthy fats. And there are healthy fats that are good for your body that will empower your brain and your emotions and your body versus carbs. Carbs are great for a quick energy spike, but the crash is horrible. It's horrible for your body, and, and, and eventually you train your body to just kind of accept that, okay, kind of accept that. And so there are some healthy fats out there. There are some brain oils, some brain food that will really kick your kick start your brain and put it in motion, right? Okay, so the reason I bring all that out is here's today's sponsor of our today's show, and that is Bulletproof. Bulletproof is our sponsor for our show today. And uh, you can turn, uh, you can get brain fuel for your body, all right? And it is an awesome, awesome concept. And you probably would never believe that this, these ingredients could go together. But I take a cup of coffee in the morning, 
okay, some unsalted grass-fed butter, and I put that in my coffee, and then I put this bulletproof brain fuel in there, okay, and it is like, I mean, you can tell it when it hits your system how much more alert you are and how much, how much more mental capabilities you have, and that's our sponsor for today, okay, this is a show sponsor for today, it's called Bulletproof, uh, and it is like really, really awesome, right? Really, really awesome. You can find out more about Bulletproof at drwithjmt.com forward slash Bulletproof. Okay, Bulletproof. It will take you to this page, and you can, you can check it out for yourself. Matter of fact, if you want to know all 31, all 31 of the Bulletproof components, steps that you can take, you'll find that on their blog on uh, at Bulletproof.com. You'll see the blog. Go to the blog. You'll look for the things that you can do. Matter of fact, I'll be posting it in a PDF here real soon connected with this video. So I, I would encourage you, I would encourage you to, to to bulletproof your life, right? I would encourage you to bulletproof your life. It's, it's going to be real important for you in the days ahead and everything you're going through and the stress and the strain and, and the emotional struggle and the mental struggle and the physical struggle and the nutritional struggle that everybody faces. You need, you need some things to help you create a better situation in your life, right? So Bulletproof, 31 steps, small steps to make it happen, okay? And we've learned about a few of those today, uh, and you can find out more about those at a PDF that we'll post to connect it to this, uh, this video, and you can go to bulletproof.com uh, via my link there, uh, drwithjmt.com forward slash bulletproof, and find out about uh, bulletproof and what it really means and some of the things and where to get the blog at, uh, get the 31 steps at, okay? So, hey, thanks for being with us on today's show, right? I appreciate you being here with me today uh, and, and and the very fact that uh, you would come along and watch for my show. Again, if you are here today with me and you've never subscribed to Dean Renfro Live videos, be sure to click on notifications up there. You can do that. You can comment in the section underneath this video, of course, and post who you are, where you're from, questions that you might have, comments that you might have, and you can also give me a thumbs up or a heart, right, or a heart, uh, or a smiley face, or a wow, or a, a, a frowny face, whatever you feel like you need to do. But the biggest thing you can do for me, of course, is share my video. Just click the share button right down there, and uh, that just creates an awesome opportunity for me to be meet your friends and, and for me to be a part of their life as well and what we're doing. So, hey, thanks for being with us today. I'm going to sign out. We'll talk to you later. Catch our next Lunch and Learn tomorrow on, uh, and, and learn about some more things that we're going to be sharing about how you can have a better 2017. See you soon.